Thank you very much, Mr. Karimsh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for your very interesting uh, presentation, uh, especially the, the short, the small the, uh, insights in the ne negotiations from uh, 2009. I think that's quite uh, valuable. I would like to ask you to reflect on the notion of uh, independence or energy independence. It seems that there could be two kinds of independence. One would be a complete independence of any imported sources. So if you think of a market like the U.S., if I'm not mistaken, since the oil embargo of the late 70s, the U.S. set a goal to become energy independent. No one believed it. Now, effectively, they have achieved it via uh, shale oil and gas. Uh, so they are no longer dependent on net uh, energy imports. They are now becoming actually exporters, which, which probably no one in this room would have believed five years ago, certainly not me. Uh, is this a direction that you think the EU should be looking at, not, not talking about specific sources of energy, but on not having to import any at all? Or is the independence that you're talking about uh, having the ability to say no, you know, go to, uh, to any uh, potential supplier because you simply have a diverse enough, uh, a robust enough infrastructure and a, a diverse enough supplier uh, base to tell anyone no, uh, I don't agree to your, your price, your terms, your blackmail. Thank you very much, Mr. Turmas. 